Beis Olam. What does Beis Olam mean? The house of eternity. Because the Neshama is eternal. And although the Neshama mainly goes up to Gan Eden, and the Neshama is always having aliyahs higher and higher in Gan Eden, especially on the yard sites, etc. But the Neshama always remains connected with this world also. And it's one of the reasons of having the Maseva. The Maseva, they say, they explain, is sort of like the anchor for the Neshama to have here in this world. And that's why, that's why it's so important to have a Maseva. It's a favor for the Neshama. It's for the benefit of the Neshama and, of course, a benefit for the family members that they can come and visit the uh, cave there and to say Tzilis there for the benefit of the Neshama, asking the Neshama to intercede uh, in the other world, etc. But this is the special significance of the of the, of the uh, Matseve, that it acts as an anchor and as a connection of the Neshama with this world. Father Olav HaSholem, who Ari had a very close connection with, I remember Say this with a smile. I remember one particular time when he came with his father to uh, to to uh, my father's home. He was a young kid. And my father was asking how he's doing in Cheder, and he should tell him how he's doing. He went to Adas. And I remember as a very interesting. I just remember I have that memory in my in my mind. I was telling over what my father was asking him all of the different things. What goes on over there? They learn and who his uh, teacher was, etc. Then, he, of course, he worked in the. Uh, well, talk about the in a, minute, in a minute. But my father used to say that uh, a matzeva, a stone, as a memorial. We call it a memorial stone. That uh, a stone is a uh, is, is a um, inanimate object. It's a doimem, and memorials have to be living memorials. And that is when children, grandchildren, members of the family emulate the uh, good midways, toivos of the neshama. And that's the real memory. And that's the real Zephyrin. The Rebbe mentions this too also. So uh, I knew Ari for many years as, as, as a kid, even though we didn't go to school together. He went to Adas you know, for many years. And then when he was involved in business in what was it called, Packmore, was that right? Pack more. Okay, so in my in my fundraising uh, ventures, I went Harry also gave donations too. When the business closed, it was actually me who helped him find a job in the yeshiva to be uh, in charge of the fees. One of the hardest jobs that exists. You can understand where you have to make sure that the school fees are being paid, and he did a fantastic job with. He began giving kites with dedication and love, etc., notwithstanding how difficult such a job is. Also doing inyonim of the Milos Chasodim, which I know personally about, etc. So uh, this is what we have to um, reflect upon. The, uh, his, I remember that time also when he went through the sickness that he had many, many years ago and his approach and fighting that when he came through that I remember visiting him in the hospital in the Masada, etc. And I was very impressed also about the whole attitude that he had with his Emunah and the Tosim in Hashem. Then he told me, he says, Moyach Shalit al Alev, he's making sure that he's not going to be, you know, thrown down into negativity. Anyway, he had various challenges in his life. The Nisham in Gan Eden, as mentioned before, connected with this world and we are connected with his Nishamra by saying Silas and his Nishamra by his Nishamra. We yesterday lane the uh, Parashas Yisrael which talks about Matan Seirah. Matan Seirah, our sages tell us that not only were the millions of Yidin Zim came out of Mitzrayim but all the Nishamras of future generations were there. And the message of uh, the message of uh, Matan Seirah of course is we have to keep Hashem saying in mitzvahs, Vayeret Hashem al Har Sinai. Hashem descended upon the mountain, literally, the Kisei HaKovid, Hashem's heavenly throne came down, so to speak, here on this world. 
on Har Sinai, and that was just the beginning of the journey, the journey that Hashem wants to make and come down here eternally, and that is when Mashiach will come. Now, Rebbe explained in Tanya, Perek Lambert Bov and Lambert Zayin, there he talks about that the revelation at Mount Mitzayir was a temporary one, and it was just the beginning, it was a temporary Kedusha on the mountain, and uh, the great revelation will be properly realized and come to its fullest fruition at the time of Mashiach. There's no reason why David should create this world, that's going to have a dwelling place here in this world, and there's going to be Tchia Samesis. So all the Nishamas throughout the course of the generations who did their part in making this world a dwelling place for Hashem, their ultimate aliyah san when we say the neshama should have an aliyah so usually it means that in the other world in ganadin the neshama has always aliyahs higher and higher as we mentioned before but the highest aliyah is when the neshamas come back down here into this world because the the, the, the great revelation of the essence of hashem at that time is greater than any of the revelations of godliness in the higher spiritual worlds so therefore, we hope and we pray that we should be inspired by Ari's emuna and bitochen, and Ari's goodness and kindness, and he should be a good better, firstly for his dear mother, and for his daughters, his grandchildren, and for all of his friends, and for the whole Kihila. And most importantly, he should go before the Kitsi HaKovet and say that it's enough already, enough. And so we, we said that before what we call now October 7th. Allah has come of a Kamo. Now what we're, what, what, what we're going through in Eretz Yisrael, we have here gets from Eretz Yisrael, so we, we go before the Kitsi HaKovet, and uh, Aaron, he has the name Aaron. Aaron is uh, Aaron. Akoyin Aaron together with Moshe with the Shlukim to take the Yidin out of Mitzrayim that we have to come out of this Golos and that it should be Miyaz Mamos now and he should be Moer Rachman again for his mother, for his daughter, for his whole family and friends etc. The Ike is to be Poyal. The Gula Shleim I just noticed now that his birthday is coming up, he was born and coming up, I'm saying I'm going to about Matan Taylor, connected with Matan Taylor. The month of Sivan is Zion, which involves Zion, Sivan is celebrated Shavuot, it's connected. Chav Zion, especially uh, the day of Chav Zion is coming, I would like to say. Chav Zion is Zoch, a very, very high special level, as the Rebbe spoke a number of times. Zoch, Sivan, the month of Matan, the month of Matan Teira. We should have the uh, Matan Teira of Tirosish or Moshiach, and it should be taken from Yad Mamosh, Omein Keni Hirotzeng. Amen. So I will read the inscription on top of it says Pei Nun Pei Nitman here is in third Ish Yokor Yoshev and Neamon a very dear straightforward and Neamon is a, is, is a trustworthy but also a person of Emuna Baal Tzdoko Vechesed Shel Emes a person who did Stoker and Chesed and especially Chesed Shel Emes which had to do with the Chedra Kadusha Oye Ves Mishpachto Yedido V'Ohu Val Yodom he loved his family and his friends, and he was beloved by them. Rebaren Yoyne, Rebbe Ram Chaim Zal, Betibodel Lechaim Toivim, Maruchim, Omeim, Mindel Tichye. Felbeboim, Noilad Chov Zayin Sivin, Hei Toshe Chofalet, that's the day of his birthday, 27th of Sivin, 5721. And Niftel Abbey Seilome, Yud Beis Menachem Ov, Hei Toshe Peyalet, passed away on the 12th of Ov. In five seven eight one, to hey nishmosa itzrura b'tzroy rachaim, his neshama should be bound in the tzroy rachaim in the bond of life. I'll say now akem bali rachamim, and then we will say a kapitul tilim. And kadosh is who says that. Akem bali rachamim, shaykein b'amreimim, amteim enuf nechein al kan seyashino. The malice kedoshim mutahirim kizayar araki amazirim es nishmas the barin yaina ben rabba ram chaim zolach liyelamai ba'avur shanach lemispalili yim biadaz korach nishmosai 
בגן עדן תהי מנוחו, צוי לו חן בא לו רחמים, יסתירהו בסייס וכנופיו, ליהלמים וגצדו עיר, בצרוי רחיים, אז נשמו צוי אדוני הוא נחלו צוי, ויונוח ושולם על משכבוי, ונוי מרומי.